with more of the Mandela effect. Oh no, here we go. Welcome to Whack-A-Mole. And in this video we talk more about the Mandela effect. And it seems to be getting worse and worse. And everything that I ever seem to remember is not true anymore. And we're just going to uh, go into more things that uh, once used to be one way and now they're another. Let's see what you remember. And here we go. And the first thing we're going to talk about is Fruit of the Looms. And I'm sure everybody has at uh, one time or another worn something by Fruit of the Loom. But does anybody, uh, or everybody, <laughs> however you want it to say, do you remember what their logo is? Hmm. Is it just a bunch of fruit on a tag? Or is it a bunch of fruit in a, they call it a cornucopia? It's kind of interesting to pronounce. It doesn't just roll off the tongue. <laughs> And it uh, certainly, I don't know, I think even the people that work at Fruit of the Loom almost couldn't answer this question. It's quite out there. But do you remember it with or without a cornucopia? Who names this shit? <laughs> I mean, really. Cornucopia. Cornucopia. But anyways, do you remember it with or without? And the answer is without. For the Loom has never had a cornucopia, if I'm even pronouncing that right, in their logo. It's always just been a bunch of fruit and some grape leaves. And that's it. But if you uh, remember this a different way, which I do, I kind of remember it with the cornucopia, you know, back in the day, but it's not that way now. Alrighty, on to the next. Okay, next in our video is uh, the ever famous Kit Kat bar. And they're missing Dash, which seems to be interesting, because for this one, I don't know if I remember the Dash or not, but I can certainly remember them being different, and them having a Dash between Kit and Cat wouldn't uh, be far-fetched in my book, but it's... Uh, it escapes me totally how this really is or isn't, so it might take somebody uh, with a little bit better of a memory than me to uh, decide how this was. But if you look at the picture of the Kit Kat with the dash, I do remember them wrapping it in some sort of foil and having a sleeve over it. And uh, I don't think that's part of the Mandela effect, you know, packaging changes and stuff. But usually uh, if they come up with a trademarked logo, uh, they don't change that. So which one is it? Should it be the one with the dash or the one without the dash? I've kind of gave it, you know, given the secret away, but, you know, I still have to answer ask the question yeah, spit it out boy spit it out <laughs> but the answer is it's the Kit Kat without the dash and apparently it's always been that way but I will have to do some more research on the packaging because I remember the Kit Kats being bigger and packaged differently but there you go the Kit Kat without the dash. All right, on to the next. Next in our video is uh, the ever famous whiteout. <laughs> Used to use this in school. You make a mistake on your paper, and 
you take the little brush and you can change your mistakes or fix them <laughs> change them fix them well whichever one you want to do white out would help you do this now Mac in my day and me and my friends used to do uh, some sinister stuff with white out you know trying to achieve certain awareness <laughs> but uh, also used it to correct papers too but but what was it about the white out yeah what is up with its name is the white out spelled with a wh i t e or is it spelled w i t e Hmm. And the answer is, it's W-I-T-E, which is kind of strange because that does spell white, but it's not correct. <laughs> and I don't know how long it's been spelt this way, but I always remembered it called white out and being spelled white w-h-i-t-e but it's not that way it's w-i-t-e hmm. who would have thought <laughs> ah, it's getting strange okay on to the next Okay, in this next one, I mean, most people should know uh, the Peanuts characters, you know, Charlie Brown and Linus and Lucy and Snoopy and all the rest of the gang. But there seems to be a little bit of a problem surrounding the Peanuts characters. It's the thing of it is, is what is Charles's last name? Or as it says on the screen, what is the name of the creator of the Peanuts? Or the creator of the Peanuts name is? I don't know why I have that written on there, but anyway, it's us the question. <laughs> what is the man's name? Is it Charles Schultz? S H U L T Z or Charles Scholes. Scholes, I guess it's Scholes. I don't know. It really doesn't sound right. S H U L Z. What is his last name? Hmm. And the answer is Charles Scholes. S H U L Z. That doesn't even make sense or doesn't even sound right at all. Charles Schultz. Really? Hmm. Well, that is the damnedest thing. Alrighty, well, I don't know how you remembered it, but. I always thought his name was Charles Schultz. Schultz with the T. But on to the next. Alrighty, last but not least is uh, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood, which uh, was a popular uh, kids' show on PBS, public broadcasting. You know, the taxpayers pay for it. But, anyways. <laughs> It was a popular kid show back in the 70s and 80s and starred Fred Rogers, you know, a nice old man that would take you to the land of make-believe, you know. But anyways, other than the trivial things, it uh, had a song at the beginning of uh, the show, you know, that Mr. Rogers would sing, you know, kind of like let's make the most of this beautiful day but what was uh, the main line in this song about being neighbors 
Yeah. Was it a beautiful day in the neighborhood? Or was it a beautiful day in this neighborhood? And the answer is, it's a beautiful day in this neighborhood, which once again makes no sense at all. Because if you remember the show and watch the show and sing the song to yourself, a beautiful day in this neighborhood makes no flipping sense whatsoever. But that's what it is, folks. It's a beautiful day in this neighborhood. Okay, well that's the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed more of the Mandela Effect as stranger and stranger things pop up as blowing my mind away and, and or making me doubt myself in many ways. As I figure out new Mandela effects, I'll bring them to you and make more videos about them. I enjoy making these videos. There will be more videos popping up. It should be on the left side of your screen. And there'll be a little round subscribe disc popping up. You can uh, push that to subscribe. Or I probably should mention that there's a little subscribe disc down in the corner that's been there through the whole video. Wow. But definitely subscribe and join the fun. If you like this video, click the other videos. It's They're all fun and exciting. <laughs> and I thank you for watching. Goodbye.